Okay, so first of all, the data that I'm going to be using is downloaded off of the UK Air DEFRA website, and it's hourly ozone concentration data from the Weybourne Monitoring Station from the 1st of January 2010 to the 31st of December 2014. So this is what the raw data looks like when it is first downloaded. So first of all, I'm going to highlight the first down control, highlight the sixth, and left click and delete. I'm then going to split my sheet in half so I can see the bottom rows. And then I'm going to insert a bunch of blank columns in between the time and the ozone concentration. I am now going to combine the date and the time. So the formula I'm going to put in is equals date plus time, enter. And I'm going to format the whole of column C and the whole of column D. Left click, format cells, date, custom. And I'm going to select the format that shows both the date and the time. And then going to double click on the black cross to fill in the rest of the column. I'm then going to highlight the whole of column C, left click copy. I'm going to paste this into column D as values. Double click on that to make it wider. I'm then going to start inserting some of my column headings. So year, season, month day, day of week, double click on that, hour, minute, another column for second. I'm then going to start putting in some of my formulas, so equals, year, tab, D2, tab. I'm going to have to format all of these columns. Left click, format cells, and this time I'm going to change it to general. I'm going to skip season for the moment. I'm going um, for month is equals text, tab, D2, comma, speech marks, MMM, speech marks, close brackets, enter. Day is equals day tab T2 close brackets. Day of week is equals text tab D2 comma speech marks D D D D speech marks close brackets enter. Hour is equals hour tab. D2 tab, minute is equals minute tab, D2 tab, and second is equals second tab, D2 tab. Now, in order to create the seasons column, I'm going to have to create a new table next to this one with all of the months. So I'm going to highlight this and drag it down to December. I'm then going to make January winter and February also going to be winter. March is going to be spring and April and May are also going to be spring. June is going to be summer and July and August are going to be summer. September is going to be autumn and October and November are going to be autumn and December is going to be winter. I am then going to have to create my formula. So equals the lookup tab. And the lookup value is G2, comma. The table array is the table I just made. And I am going to press F4 and insert the dollar signs into this so that the table doesn't move around. Comma. And the column index is 2, comma. And the range lookup is false for an exact match. Close brackets, enter. I'm then going to highlight the whole of the top line 
and double click the black cross to fill in the rest of the table. Now, not all of these categories are appropriate for the data that I'm using right now. I'm just including them as a demonstration. Next, I'm going to click in the top corner, press down shift and select the bottom right hand corner to highlight the whole of the table. Then I'm going to select insert pivot table and this here is the data I just highlighted and it's going to be put into a new worksheet so I'm not going to change anything on here I'm just going to click OK. Now I'm going to double click on the tab backspace and rename it pivot. Now I'm going to start making my pivot table so I want average seasonal diurnal cycles of ozone. Now my value is going to be ozone and that will automatically select count. I want to change that, so left click, value field settings, and there are lots of options, but I'm going to select average. Now, because I want diurnal cycles, my row labels are going to be hour, and because I want seasonal diurnal cycles, my column labels are going to be season. You can see it's automatically created the table for me. I'm just going to change this by selecting design, and removing all of the subtotals and all of the grand totals. Subtotals and grand totals can be useful for some things, but they're not applicable for what I'm doing right now. I am now going to highlight the whole of the table, Control C to copy, move along a couple of places, and I'm gonna paste as values. You have to do this because Excel won't let you make a scatter graph directly from a pivot table. Now I'm going to delete these headings and I'm going to highlight the whole of my table. I'm then going to select insert, scatter with smooth lines and this is my chart. I'm going to left click on this, move to chart, new sheet, OK, to make it easier to see. Now there are lots of formatting things you can do with this. Insert title, axes, labels, change the legend change the colour of the lines. I'm just going to show you a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to click on the bottom axes and you can see that it's automatically selected the maximum to be 25 and the major unit to be 5. Now, because I'm doing daily cycles, I'm going to change this to 24 because there are 24 hours in a day. I'm going to change this to 6 because I want 6 hour slots. I then want to see my day being divided up, so I'm going to select layout, grid lines, vertical grid lines, major grid lines. And then finally, I'm going to select one of the lines, wait a second, select one of the points, data labels, more data label options. I'm going to select a series name, unselect the Y value and select label position to be center then select close and now my line has a label and that is it.